Thank you all for coming. Um, in our fragile economy, prudent action by the state is needed to keep people in their homes, and failing that, to make the foreclosure process less archaic and rigid. Uh, we support House Bill 5270, which extends Connecticut's foreclo foreclosure mediation program, protects tenants renting a property subject to foreclosure, and creates a new foreclosure by market sale option. And we'd really appreciate hearing your thoughts and, and how you stand on that important issue. Bill. I mean, three components. I think the first issue is homeowners themselves are under tremendous pressure. And, and Pricing has suffered, and what you have are homeowners who, who are underwater in regards to their properties. And, and the pressure that they have is compounded by the fact that mortgage companies have become unyielding. They've become very demanding. And I know what the governor has signed uh, as part of the state legislature's resources is that there is a required mediation implemented by the Department of Justice, of uh, Judicial Department, to allow that anybody that is in the process being foreclosed can ask for the judicial department to mediate for 60 days. No matter how dire the situation is, under law, a homeowner is protected to go through mediation. It is a stopgap to allow people to take a step back and have resources that can help them go through this very difficult process. Because one of the things that we've seen are our agencies have come up. To, to try to resolve issues, to try to have a, a, a quick solution to get you out of debt. And they charge a fee and, and they have not been as productive as, as we've seen. So that, that is one factor where the state has reached out and tried to offer assistance. I think the second part is trying to educate people. I, I mean, as a broker, who would ever thought a year and a half ago that a significant portion of our sales transaction are short sales? You know, um, and, and trying to understand that you still need to provide a service. You still need to get to a proper pricing to, to execute the transaction. But obviously, as professionals and as a job, who's going to get paid? And, and I don't think the legislature has really accounted for that right now. But it's become much more of an important issue. Um, and I'm hopeful that, as a realtor, but also as a legislature, that we're very sensitive to that. That may be something we'll consider down the road.